See the pouch pa oh. May baby dyan sa harap niya. This one? No, it's just her. It's just her butthole, Papa. Butthole? <laughs> no, there's a baby oh. There's a baby? Yeah. I see a butthole though. That's not a butthole. <laughs> That's their pouch. We have over 50 kangaroos. No, I mean how many different? Oh. There's for a, species? Yeah. Okay, for the kangaroos, we have four species on the farm. We have common wallaroos, red kangaroos, which are all these guys, Bennett wallabies, which are the dark brown ones, like that one over there, oh, okay. and all the albinos are Bennett wallabies. Mm -hmm. And then we have a couple of little Dama wallabies that are about this big, and that's fully grown, and they usually tend to hang out by that bush or over by the cowboy bunkhouse there. For the most part, they're pretty much the same. Uh, common wallaroos, which we have in the other field, they're a little more skittish of people, so that's why we say don't know petting them in that side because they just they, they just tend to run away from everybody. All these guys are domestically raised. All from North America. Uh, Australia has had a total ban on wildlife imports exports since 1964. So it's virtually impossible to get an animal legally out of. Yeah. So all these guys, our ancestors, are from pre-1964 Australia. Uh, some of our guys are from Texas, Louisiana, Ontario, Washington. So we use it for different. We get from different breeders so that we have a nice diverse breeding stock. With red kangaroos, though, it's not uncommon for them to live into their late twenties, early thirties. But what does happen, because there is the occasional picture of two in a, in a pouch, it's called transference. When the baby's born, it's only like that big. It looks like mm -hmm. the size of a lima bean and it crawls up the outside of the mm -hmm. pouch and then crawls into the pouch, the attaches to a nipple, the nipple swells in its mouth, and then it's stuck Mama? on that nipple for like the next three months. Oh, Mama? okay. Yeah, until it develops its own jaw structure, etc. Where is that? So, when that? they get to that stage already, they're... Where is this one here is at about six months, so it, it already has started sticking its nose out, but it's totally hairless right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the thing with these guys is they're horrible mothers, because if she was in the wild being chased by a predator, she would eject the joey onto the ground to be bait for the predator. He has another one in the bank, sort of, it's called diapause, and it's a group of about a hundred cells that are put into a stasis, basically. And then when she triggers the hormones, that develops into an embryo, she gives birth and then it crawls up the pouch. So when that's crawling up the pouch, what happens is another female can come by, bump into it, it gets transferred onto her pouch, onto her, it crawls into her pouch, and if she's got only a little small tiny baby in there too, then she can raise them both. Really? Yeah. Also in the wild is that like if she ejected her joey on the, on the ground and the predator didn't get it, she might come back and look for it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And then, if not, what also happens, though, is another mother that's lost her baby will come along, think it's hers, and adopt it. A study I read about uh, a couple of years ago, I read a study, they tested 2,500 Eastern Grey mums and babies down in Australia, found that 13% of them weren't from their mothers. <laughs> mostly adopted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or transference, yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> the They're mostly all the same, right? Like what you said? Yeah, basically, there's 64 different species of kangaroos, but they're all basically... Uh, subs from these guys. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Like even wallabies and stuff and everything, they're related to these guys. Good to know. Over there is one of our, our capybaras that's uh, capricious over there hanging out along the fence line. We just have the one in here right now. And there's two in the front, a uh, male and a female. We're actually trying to get some more for to start a new family group. So when the albino in this green, uh, the brown one yeah mixed up what's the uh the od odds of it are like one in ten thousand will be an albino uh, oh. it can increase if you have two albinos breeding together so we fix all our male albinos because a lot of times you can have health problems with the albinos oh, so we sensitive? try to keep our numbers down to a nice manageable number in case they get you know, have some problems oh, okay. and then it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg to have uh. to take care of them they're kind yeah. of sensitive, eh? They're, yeah, and they're light sensitive the too. So the, in the in the summertime during the day, like you'll see them, and it looks like they're 
they got their eyes closed all the time. Oh yeah. They just, uh, and plus they've been up partying all day, right? <laughs> they're no nocturnal animals. So they're active at night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they are nocturnal animals, yeah. but that means that they are up. What do you call it? Nocturnal. nocturnal. That means they are up at night. Yeah. Oh. They're like fox. Yeah, because it's nice and cool. There's dew on the grass, mm -hmm. etc. So they can get lots of nutrients that way. Yeah. So during the day, this is what they do: is to conserve their energy and water yeah. supplies that they built up over the night. Is just not move around. Yeah, like and because they consider us part of their mob, oh. they don't view us as a threat. But oh. that's why we say don't run, because if you start running, they might start running because they see you running and they consider you part of the mob. Well, if you're running, there must be a reason. There's a predator around. Oh. So sometimes you'll see, all of a sudden, you'll see one person running and there'll be an explosion of kangaroos <laughs> running all the same way going, uh, but, Quit running, people! <laughs> that's, that's why in the movie, if this guy doing a bicycle in the in the wild, yeah. in, in Australia, so there's one kangaroo chasing him. Because of, what an aggressive male, yeah. probably. <laughs> yeah. I never thought that you could, after that guy told us there's a kangaroo here in DC, <laughs> and I was sick and thought, really? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah, she first rescued 10 wallabies out of New Zealand when they were doing their call in 1989. And then Caroline, the owner, she uh, just had them as pets forever. And then, well, the Oh, what's the name of the owner? Caroline? Caroline. Oh, okay. Yeah. Caroline and Greg are the owners now. Uh, so, so this is a private property? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they, uh, one day her kids, were, young kids were bugging her to try and make some money. So they were like, well, can we put up a lemonade stand or something? She was like, that's not going to make any money. Like, yeah. Why don't you take a sign up to the end of the road and come see our kangaroos, you know, and take oh, people yeah. around the farm. And at that time, it was only one little pen that was like yeah. about this big. That was yeah. it. And they just had the few wallabies. And uh, that kind of started it all. And then they oh, made like $40 that's that's the how this day, and they were the kids were super excited. So oh, nice! The same place here? No, it was at the old oh, location okay. in Winfield. Oh, that's how this one started. Yeah, oh, yeah. We've okay. only been here now. This is our second summer here on this property. Oh, is this new? Right? Oh, yeah. this is yeah. new. We used to be in, in Lake Country in Winfield, uh, just by behind the uh, Savon uh, food store up there. Oh. And but you uh, still have that spot there. Did, so yes, they still okay. own that spot. Uh, just that we don't we only have a few animals left over there that we just most of them are here yeah oh, okay yeah. because this one is there bigger we maybe. have four pigs one emu <laughs> a few bunny rabbits and that's it oh, okay <laughs> just to keep the farm status over there yeah. <laughs> well it's not easy to run a farm eh? no no it's the, a full time the maintenance is expensive too yeah like, but uh, if you there's people coming that would help right yeah that's the whole thing yeah but it's really good though what you did here yeah, it's, it's a like your location. Yeah, it's twice the size, twice, ten times the parking, because <laughs> we had no parking back there. Um, oh, there was always a battle, okay. And we had to lease land to put a parking lot on. And, and this one is bigger than the, yeah, the previous right. one. This yeah, one here we're on uh, almost thirteen acres. Oh uh, yeah. You do you only have kangaroos, peacocks, and those goats? Oh God, no! We have capybaras, we got maras, we got all kinds of exotic Beer? birds. Yet yeah, they're in the other field. Oh. We have common wallaroos, uh, African crested porcupine. Oh, Priscilla. so we have to move there, right? We yeah. Have after to... you've done this field, go to the other field. Oh, yeah. oh we will That's go to That's where all the exotic side. birds are. I think oh. our reptile guy is back at work today. I think. Oh. <laughs> well, he was sick for a few days. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh we there. can go check. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's in the right side in when our, we go from... Yeah, instead of going left, yeah. go to the right side. The yeah. uh, down under it's called. This is the outback and then we have the down under, which is oh, the okay. And there we have some baby emus over there too that are running around. And Oh, we should yeah, check you'll, that you'll enjoy that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, enjoy the rest of this. Week. Thank you. Oh, Thank yeah. you so much, Brian. Yeah. It was nice Thanks. talking nice to, to you. Brian. Thank you for yeah, all the info. Too. You too. Guys, I'm not going to guys. We did go nice a bug, Mickey. Patatim, guys. Patatim. Tiwas, you know. Guys, Cassian is a bug, Mickey, guys. Patatim, you know.
having good time streaming eh oh na ni magkadako kay 2 years pa lang ni sila diri guys eh so nagkadako nagkadako sila guys basig sunod na hipo na diri pohon hipo pa tamos lami ka sundogin na ni Pilipinas no kung ano kay budget pa Nabong, kana bang mga hayop nga wala sa to ah? Oh. Ang bomba lang, pura sa bomba pero gibutangan na nagkuan. Oh. Ostrich? Ostrich na nagtigil. Ostrich na nagtigil. Ostrich na nagtigil. Kanding guys. Kanding dito. Ah, itu bukan kelas yang kandeng ya Thank you, Buya Mungkin sih guru neng kanting ni Mike Wins. Kening tak kilit mang ulu. And their eyes is literally just come across. Their their black eye is like just across. Thank you. 